ओके लुक लुक फ्रेंड्स दिस इज द राइट फुट एंड दिस इज द लेफ्ट फुट राइट एंड इफ दिस पर्सन इज स्टैंडिंग लाइक दिस राइट सो दिस मोमेंट इज कॉल्ड इनवर्जन दिस इज कॉल्ड ई वर्जन इनवर्जन ई वर्जन क्लियर फ्रेंड्स लुक केयरफुली आई एम ड्रॉइंग इट हियर इज आवर फ्रेंड स्टैंडिंग these are his feet now if he stands like this look right so the sole of his feet are pointing towards the midline right look once again here is our friend standing you just consider that this is a baby baby and i am holding his feet in my hand and there will be he standing right so when he do movements like this this is called inversion why because the sole of his feet are pointing towards his midline of the body right so inversion and when he does like this this is called eversion right so if these are the foot right so when the feet move like this this is called inversion and when the feet move like this this is called eversion and i will give this picture this moment in the i button you can see that and they are right so this is inversion and eversion and inversion and eversion are the movements of the foot no no, no parts of the body can perform this uh, movement right then there is another movement and that is called the plantar flexion and dorsal flexion number 7 plantar flexion right and there is dorsal flexion this moment now look if i bring my friend here not carefully okay he cannot do this moment all right we have a little bit difficulty we have a big skeleton here but we can't bring it right now here okay this is the foot right and this plantar flexion and dorsal flexion both are the movements of the foot look this is the plantar surface and this is the dorsal surface so when the dorsal surface and look look i'm going you i'm going to tell you the very basic about dorsal flexion and plantar flexion this is the plantar surface this is the dorsal surface and this is the tibia and fibula now when the angle in between the tibia and fibula decreases this is called dorsal flexion and when the angle in between the tibia and fibula increases this is called the plantar flexion so if this is your foot right this is your foot and here is your tibia and fibula so if you are performing this movement this is called dorsal flexion and if you are performing this movement this is called plantar flexion or let me make the diagram here look tibia and fibula and dorsum of the foot this is your foot for example for example this is your foot when you do this movement so your foot will become like this right so this is the dorsal surface so the angle in between the tibia and the dorsal surface of the foot decrease right flexion so when the flexion angle decreases so this is called dorsiflexion and when you when you do the movement like this right going back this is called plantar flexion clear friends so dorsal flexion dorsiflexion and plantar flexion are also the movements of your feet then the last one that we have is called the opposition opposition what is meant by opposition oppose look when the <clears throat> when the thumb comes towards the little finger digit minimi right this is called Do, uh, this is called opposition right so look this is your hand right when your thumb comes towards and comes and meets with your digit minimi this is called opposition movement 
clear friends let's fastly repeat all these so when i'm uh, decreasing the angle flexion increasing the angle extension increasing the angle more this is called over extension flexion extension over extension look flexion extension over extension clear friends then there is lateral flexion lateral flexion like this all these are lateral flexions then there is the moment abduction adduction look moving away from midline this is the midline in between the two fingers so this moment is called abduction this is called adduction abduction adduction abduction adduction abduction adduction right friends okay then there is circumduction this moment is called circumduction then there is medial rotation lateral rotation so you are standing like this medial rotation lateral rotation medial lateral rotation then there is pronation and supination this is supination pronation supination pronation supination pronation then there is inversion eversion we cannot perform a camera cannot be focused on my feet so i had told you before inversion eversion protraction rotraction is the movement of neck protraction retraction protraction retraction right then there is plantar flexion dorsiflexion and opposition these were the terms related to body movements next we will discuss about body plants and then we will discuss about body cavities so i'm just introducing anatomy and i hope you are learning it thank you so much